Pop quiz. Who played Darth Vader in the original trilogy? If you said James Earl Jones and David Prowse, you're right, but you're missing one. Let me introduce you to the master, Bob Anderson. Foibles and Fights, the swordiest sword show that ever sorted. I'm your host, Mike Fadum, and I'm the creator of the League of Swords. Let me take you back in time. It's New Year's Day 2012. My wife walks into our hotel room in Las Vegas and finds me absolutely distraught. She asks me what's wrong, and I manage to choke out Bob Anderson died before dissolving into tears. My wonderful, supportive wife wraps her arms around me and asks, Oh, honey, who? You may not know who Bob is, but you have seen his work. He started out as an Olympic-level fencer and won gold medals at the British Empire Games. But he really found his calling when he became Errol Flynn's fencing instructor on the Master of Ballantrae. He also stabbed Flynn. An accident? Or because he knew Flynn was a secret Nazi? The world may never know. From there, Mr. Anderson became a highly sought-after fight choreographer, especially in the 80s through the 2000s, where he did the fight choreography for some films you may have heard of, like uh, The Princess Bride, Pirates of the Caribbean, Lord of the Rings, Highlander, Mask of Zorro, The Three Musketeers, Die Another Day. So, if you liked any of those fights, or if you're like me and you liked all of those fights, congratulations! You're a Bob Anderson fan! So why did I say he was Darth Vader? Well, if you're a Star Wars fan, you might have noticed the marked difference between Darth Vader's fights in A New Hope and Empire and Jedi. David Prowse did the fight in the first film, and he's great. He's a wonderful Darth Vader. We wouldn't have the character, and it wouldn't be as intimidating as he was without him. But he's not a master sword fighter. So Bob Anderson stepped into the suit in Empire and Jedi, and he is the Darth Vader you see in both of those fights. Plus... Look how cool he looks. Once you know, it's very easy to pick out a Bob Anderson fight. He's got a very distinct style. It's very bombastic. It's very cinematic. It's dramatic. It's a lot of things that rhyme, apparently. Despite his background as an Olympic fencer, he eschews realistic fights in favor of dramatic storytelling, which is what a fight in a movie or TV show is supposed to be. His fights tell a story about the characters, about the choices they make through the fight. It's like a song in a musical, only if you're sharp, you're doing well. Bob's name will come up a lot in this series, so I wanted to introduce you to him first. He influenced me more than anybody else, and I'm sure you'll see a lot of that in the League. If you want to hear from the man himself, there is a documentary called Reclaiming the Blade, link in the description, that is the only example of an actual interview with him that I'm aware of. That's all for today. Till next time, remember, stick him with the pointy end. Thank you.